Talk about baby. Fuck the boy for life. I'm better on my project than the father of the son. It's hard to get in. I still don't want to go to school. I always take them out. He gets slow. I don't know why. Niggas I can't. The cross on ass, fuck them boys for life. I ain't going out bad. I got my pipe and it's still fucked the other side. <laughs> it's hard to make it out. I'm still the one that's gonna try. Playing hard, we take them out. We get slow. Don't wonder why. You could just look into my eyes and tell that this shit ain't no lie. He went home, kissed his mama like he ain't just taking life. He came home, my boy, the chops. Then when he touched me, he go die. He go back and nigga try and bet he fuck all right. Get shot. I'm from the bed that's out the gate. We gon' get that understood. And if I had a genie, then I wish a nigga would. And it won't take no paper for to get that nigga took. I see them looking, got I'm shook, I know they think that I'm a crook. Duck like Neil off the major judge was trying to throw the book. Niggas see me in those station when I'm sliding through my hood. But somehow I knew I would. I don't believe in making statement. Pick this your job, you better do it. I read the E-way. Free Almighty, know I'm sweating this up. Free that boy. Tell BBD we can street race you a beast and your big homie getting clapped out by some teenagers. So you broken now, your cheeks ain't 205. I ain't who I am, and I ain't proud to say I'm not them. Die again. That shit won't fly, slide or ride. You know I got my sticks. Seven, six tools and a lot of them. Niggas play the cross and I swear. For the boss, I like going out bad. I got my pipe and it's the fuck out of the side. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? It's your girl, KB. Live from Pressure 23 Studios. We got in the building. 12 five baby. 12 five baby. Jig. I'm just glad to be here. What's up? That's what's up. So, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another Pressure 23 Radio exclusive. As I said earlier, we have a incredibly lyrical young man representing the Magic City in the building, professionally known as Jit. So, let me tell y'all a little bit about how I came up on Mr. Jit. So, I was on Facebook. I was on breakout network. I was on breakout. I was on Facebook. And then I was looking. And then I, you know, I ran across a little friend request and I looked. I said, Baytown Jig. Sound like a rap name. So I went to his page. And then he got a couple of YouTube links on there. And I heard it. I was like, wait a minute. So I jumped in the inbox. I was like, hey, send me some links to your music. He's like, okay, bet. Unlike a lot of people, sent them right in. So when I'm listening to it, and I think I asked you, I'm like, where the fuck you be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a well kept secret, man. I'm a well kept secret. So I'm like, I got to get this dude in here because it's a lot of artists that slept well on. Well secret. Shit. And when I listened to your music and I heard the vocals, I'm a very lyrical person. So when I heard the vocals, I was like, Fuck, I gotta get him in here so we can hear about it. You shot me the music and I put it on. So, you know, that's why we're here today. So, how you doing? How rap treating you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm maintaining. I genuinely have no complaints. Uh, I feel like I'm at a high point in my professional career. Okay. okay. And my, my personal life is on. Um, my personal life is secure too. And that matters in music. Right. Most definitely personal life, the things that you go in, go in, go have going on in your personal life, it do roll over into the music, but we're gonna get on that in a minute. I gotta pay some bills, which I own bills, but I gotta pay them. <laughs> so I'm gonna run it. Pressure 23 Radio is a true global radio station broadcasting 23 hours a day worldwide. You are one of the many independent artists on our platform. You currently have two songs in the daily rotation. Those tuned in today on the Pressure 23 app, iHeartRadio, and other audio tuners, as well as watching us live streaming on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Baytown Jit, 205 Connect, all them other streaming platforms for these yeah, young 205 man, Connected. They here to get to know a little bit about you. So I learned a little bit about you. So why don't you tell everybody where you're from? I'm from the east side of Birmingham. I went. Yes, sir. I went to Isaiah Middle. <laughs> uh, oh, so you true east side. 
east side let you let you hide out like that it just it just was i'm i'm really just baffled because um i don't know how to I, don't, I can't even say it's a popularity thing because people get to where they want to um get and in order to be popular you have to work to make people like you um it just wasn't my time um i'm a firm believer in th that things will happen and run their course just exactly how they're supposed to so um i don't force my music i don't force myself and i don't force success i just try my best to make it happen right and you did you did take the necessary steps you responded and it's like you said things happen for a reason and you right here today unlike plenty of these popular local rappers today you heard worldwide you're on a global platform so you worldwide so you are exactly right things happen how they're supposed to be supposed to happen you're supposed to get introduced to the world all at one time so before i get into some of this music i want to know what inspired you in to get into music not being heard for years at a time when i was young i felt like i just honestly didn't have a voice not only was i people not listening but they just didn't care what i had to say but shit, i cared um i've always been well spoken i think about what comes out of my mouth you know i feel like what comes out of your mouth matters that's how life begins and um i got tired of holding stuff in honestly and with no one to talk to i um took to writing and i found out i loved it it started off as poetry then it became lyrics to the point where even after i became a rapper i still had to work on myself because i'm rhyming five six seven syllables and on paper it's cool and sound it's not music it's not aesthetically pleasing i had to figure out a way to break the gap and become a musician instead of a rapper but it all started with just wanting to be heard wanting to express myself okay um, how would you describe the music that you typically cr create? What style? What's your genre? Or do you ha are you in a specific category or? Um, I feel like it would most likely be just rap. Like, um, I I would hate to put myself in a particular category because I feel like that would be limiting myself. And I try to my music. I try to make real music. I try to paint pictures of my life as it is and as it was and um sometimes that's graphic sometimes it's beautiful sometimes it, it goes to a dark place but um just i just try to be honest and i feel like that's what matters and it matters as much as the effort you put into things effort definitely matters people don't try enough right okay in what way do you feel you're different from the current mainstream artists right now I try. I try. I put great effort in my music. Um, I make a point not to rhyme the same two words, and I don't mean it one song. I mean in general. Um, I make a point not to use the same cadence twice, uh, the same rhyme scheme. Um, I practice my delivery. I have exercises that um I use to practice my delivery and how smoothly things roll off the tongue. Um. I study it. Um, it's it's really a science to making music, if you ask me. And I make it my business to know that science so I can make the best possible music. And um, I care. I care about what I put out. It's a lot of things that I can't listen to because I feel like they don't care. And you just give me anything like I'm supposed to listen to it. And I get as a listener, as a consumer, I get offended. Like you're just gonna piss in my face and tell me it's lemonade. So I make a point as an artist and a consumer to to try. And keep being honest my gimmick is not having a gimmick i'm not gonna rap about a whole bunch of money i don't have a whole bunch of money um i'm blessed i have no complaints but i'm definitely not where i need to be i'm not gonna rap about hoes running in and out of my crib my fiance's over there so is my kid shout out hey fiance hey little man um i'm not gonna rap about things that i don't do um so it's hard for a lot of people to get behind me because it's a certain agenda being pushed club music a certain sound being pushed, a certain style a certain cadence of music and i don't really fit into that but i'm not really trying to and right. that's what makes me stand out right. and that was one of the things that i noticed about you um in one of these songs that you um sent me i'm gonna get into it right now about your lyrical standpoint from you know not repeat so we're gonna get into this song
I think this song is entitled Being Yourself. It's yeah, um, it. this is off my upcoming album. I hope you guys enjoy it. Why can you turn me on to be on myself? They don't deserve me, I keep it on myself. Life in my back, you see me bleeding down. Damn, risk you crazy. I'm to be on myself. They don't deserve me, I keep it on myself. Like you see me bleeding down. I can only be me, mama, look your son on TV, I've been here before Somehow I just make this shit look easy, they don't care to know What I had to go through to achieve, they ain't believe me And it hurt, but less than I'm contact the lead I'm opinionated, even my opinions hate it Something I just feel is sacred, battle with the fear of changing My past is real, my business clear, I'm being still by angles I wonder if I just appeal, we shed a tear, but yeah, but tell I'm still on grace Cause I know I done had it worse, and when I come back down to earth I'ma hit the ground Running, when I'm back to work, so the right after church. Cause I done sold the past to work, and I done seen the angel line. The demon of his words, hard to understand at first. you gon' have to bail, we gotta pay this fucking engine. Cause I can't afford therapy. Like I'm screaming at these four walls. Ain't nobody hear me if I told you about my past. I'm worried you be scared of me. Too hard for the industry, man. One rapper that can compare to me. Enemy 4G, we got four guns. You my dog, but you can't sell with me. You ask me, it ain't no let me tell it, I know you tell on me My fellas ride around a stolen car Ride around with four felonies How could you judge me? I'm just being myself, they don't deserve me I keep me to myself, knife in my back I know you see me bleeding to death Fighting demons, praying to God that they don't beat me to death And I swear to never change unless it's for the battle and if you never change, we gon' bar forever. Back against the wall, I sit tall, I'm a dog forever. I'm not at all, shit, my mom know that I'm a scrub. I'm just being myself, they don't deserve me. And my mom on the lot right now, no cap. Life in my bag, I know you see me bleeding to death. Say that wasn't leaving it left, but I don't need much cow. <laughs> yeah being a slept on artist everybody out there listening to it y'all y'all mistreating y'all self not tapping in being a slept on artist i know you really don't care about what nobody think of you but knowing that you're creating music that has meaning that's not recreating what somebody else said not stealing words not limited vocabulary the quality of music that you're putting out being a slept on artist how does that make you feel it makes me hungry all the qualities that you described describe all of them positive attributes it enhances them because there was a time when i used to be salty i used to be very salty i felt like a lot of people had a spot that i deserved and um some people call it hate some people call it other things, but I call it the past, honestly. I don't, I don't even think like that anymore. Um, the, I know where I want to be in my career. And um, where other people at in their limit and whatever happened to be their level of skill and their level of success has absolutely nothing to do with me, honestly. I'm going to do my best every time, and um, my best is enough. And folks will catch on to Vince and until then, I'm going to be right here That's in the right. E-Way doing my thing. Exactly. So how do you feel the internet has impacted the music industry? Ah, uh, that's a tough question. Because <laughs> it's make it, it makes it easier, but harder at the same time. So because, you, go ahead. Because um back in the day, um people used to have to buy CDs, cassette tapes, you know. Um it was it, um you had like a shirt maker in the hood, but it was hard to get a knockoff on um, get rich or die trying shirt, you know. Um right. All of that really came from the source, you know, and it cost them. Right. Now with streams, it is easier to get attention and get famous because the internet is a hell of a tool. Shout out to the guy who did it. Um, but yeah, that's a hell of a tool, but it's harder to get paid from it because while there are so many different avenues that you can gain currency from the internet, it's so low. Like, um, the, 
I think you get a, a cent per 10,000 streams or some shit like that. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And um, so in order to actually make the internet work for you and get paid for it, you got to be popping on just about every single uh, streaming service possible. So, you know, you just got to get yourself out there. Um, it makes it easier because the internet and trends and fads and TikTok. Yeah, it's just, it makes it easier, but it's harder to get paid. It's easier to get known and harder to get paid, which is crazy because now we live in an era where people would rather have right. recognition than money. Right. So for, it, it works for a lot of people. A lot of people say it changes for the better, but um, I, I, I got what I, I can't fail to acknowledge how it's changed negatively as well. True. I, I answered that question leading on to how some artists got motion because some popular YouTuber made a TikTok off their song. And then now they they went viral and now they're doing shows and people paying to see them. It used to disgust me. <laughs> Genuinely, it used to disgust me. I used to feel like um oh, feeling right here in the right. pit of my chest, like pure disgust. Like, cause I work and I work hard. Like I had an on performance on the first. That day before the show, um, I spent the majority of my day out jogging, rehearsing my verse, you know, because um practicing um my breath control and stuff running full speed while reciting the entire song is not easy so when i get on stage it's not but um i work you know i don't i don't play this is what i want to do in my life and um it used to disgust me i ain't gonna lie but um growing up and um becoming wise and more mature i learned that this is what it is and um you can't fight the system you only can get with it so i i made a tiktok um, I still don't watch TikToks. So I have a TikTok account. I never have been on my news feed once. I get on that post, check my views. Literally, that's it. But um, it was a point in time where I wouldn't even make a TikTok. And I knew I should have made a TikTok because one time about like, shit, like four or five years ago, one of my songs I had made some dude from, I don't even know what fucking country he was from. He made a dance and the song he made a dance to making a TikTok and he was doing it it looked dumb as hell but it was love though it right. didn't get a lot of views or nothing but it, like how the fuck did he find my music right and actually enjoy it and bum fuck where you know whole other country so I actually related to it and enjoyed it and everything even if he didn't relate to it he enjoyed it you know so that was beautiful so I knew I should have been on TikTok but my pride now nah, I'm a rapper I'm a, I'm a real artist blase blase I'm not. Um, I used to be a. I used to be a Joe Button type of nigga, and I listen to Joe Button, so I can say that Joe, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Button disrespect would not be tolerated otherwise. Right. Okay, so <laughs> you know Joe Button is <laughs> that nigga Mouse is a wild nigga, but I agree with ninety percent of shit he say. Right. Right. So, in in my opinion, because I'm a researcher, so after. I checked into your music and you sent it to me and we set all this up. I want to see, do these people, are these people really sleeping on him? And it is some people that sleeping on you, but it's some people out there just not acknowledging it. I know. Because the, if they acknowledge you, then they have to acknowledge how good you are. I know. And if some people or acknowledge you, they feel like, hang on, because he ain't finna get no cloud off of me. Blah, blah, blah. By acknowledging that there's something potentially better out there, that that, that means you have to um, work harder to compete with it. And we we already established people don't want to work. Right. So I think that... Yeah, I established that years ago. Um, I, um, a lot of rappers will not acknowledge me. A lot of rappers know me. Um, I I really don't do open mics. Um, I stopped doing them like three, four years ago. Um, back when they was doing massive Mondays, um, it's never been my stilo, but um, uh, social media, I used to go to every one of them. They know me. Um, they know me. I talk to a lot of them. Um, and they either plan by the future, um, want me to pay them, and I'm not paying another artist in my city for a feature. I'm not gonna lie. And it's the same way. Unless you feel me, you just getting a fuck nigga fee. When I become big, I'm not texting nobody in my city feature that i'm not they don't gotta pay me i mean the music gotta work i'm not but that's our principle outside of money when i'm broke i'm not making a song with somebody that i don't agree with like the song like they artwork right but yeah so so 
I, I hear you saying that when you get on, because you're going, you're not going to tax nobody in your city. And that's that's like an Alabama issue. That artists don't like to band together or stick together or really recognize the benefits that come along with networking, making songs with artists that are actually talented. The way I see it, when I get to where I want to be, spending $50 for a fucking studio session, I hop on a verse or something, to send me, it's nothing. I'll probably dedicate probably a couple of hours out of every week to do that and just send it back. That ain't saying I'm going to um, promote everything, uh, put money behind everything, or shoot a video to everything, but that verse ain't shit. Honestly, I wouldn't even have to write it. Right. Like, why not? It won't make, because like people got to think about other people. It would make absolutely no difference to me. My budget, my time, absolutely none, but it would make the difference in the world to that artist, so you feel me, that matters. Right. The artist that, ex- I see, and it, before we keep going, I see you, you get up over there. Is, is that a new, is that a new designer? Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. This is on black on. This is a mercy. Definitely got to tap in with my folks. Um, shout out to Goku for putting me on this. He's an um, artist from Birmingham as well. And he's very different. You got to get him on here. Um, The same way you never heard a nigga sound like me. Right. You never heard a sound, but in a completely different way. Goku. Yeah, Goku. Okay, I'm going to have to check in. Yeah, like all Dragon Ball Z, but with a C instead right. of a K because he a crip. <laughs> That's his business, you feel me? He like it, I love it. That's my dog. But yeah, right. this is a mercy. Hold on, I'm going to put the white down. I don't want to fuck the mic up. Hold on. Okay. It's a mercy. Yeah, so I had to um shout that out. Because we get on these platforms and we throw on Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, all that type of shit, you feel me? And true sure enough, I got a Balenciaga shirt on right now. But, you know, this one matters. This is what, yeah. That's, that's what's up. I mean, it was, it's unique. It's nice. So I just had to interrupt the interview. Um, we definitely support all independents. It's an independent platform. Mm-hmm. We dedicated Black one. Black-owned and Birmingham-based. Right. We did. Like, if one of those don't get you the shot, the second one should. And the two of them together, hey, go spend your money with that man. No cap. Right. Okay, y'all. Y'all, shout it out again one more time for those who don't. His uh, The brand name is Amerci. A-M-E-R-C-I. Y'all go check him out. Black on Birmingham based Birmingham artist go by this man gear. Do not expect this man to give you a free fit because you are a rapper. That's a fact. That's a fact. Because you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. This shit expensive. This shit expensive. This shit is expensive. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that's but yeah, he ain't crazy. doing no free shit no more. That's a fact. That's what's up. Okay, um, you're currently an independent artist, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you interested in being signed? Um, if the details are right, honestly, I would prefer a distribution deal instead of a record deal. That would be um that would be best. Like, but um, I'm open to just about anything so long as it makes sense. I'm not. It gotta make sense. Okay. It gotta make sense, and it gotta be beneficial. And um, I'm not getting fucked. I get that. So are, figuratively or literally right so um we are a global platform like i said and we are 100 percent independent so we do have labels we have actually had some people we have been contacted by labels and we've had um some people to actually get a record deal because we're 100 percent independent and when we interview people that's something that i always do ask if the artist is interested in being signed believe it or not i had a twenty thousand dollar record deal on the table but i got in some legal trouble and that's why I'm a straight arrow right now. I'm not playing no games. And and that was playing my, with my next potential. Question. That was my next question. What? <laughs> Is it anything that'll be hindering you right now for them to that'll cause any conflict if they were to sign you? But you already cleared that up. So. Um. Yes and no. I can't leave the state without express permission from my probation officer. But if everything's legit, it shouldn't be a problem. I just have to show because on um, actual contracts and performances and et cetera stuff. They come with paperwork. Right. Do your homework on paperwork. See, when I bring that paperwork to my lawyer, he'll be like, "Okay, this is legitimate. This is this is a job." You know. It's- right. 
Okay. So that, so we got another song we're gonna get into that you um you got you said that first song that first song that we played it was off your upcoming album. Is it the second song that we have here today? Is it on your album? Hey um, little man, you wanna get no, on the today? I might <laughs> bring them over here, but I might um put it on the album as a um as an extra song, like a, I don't know, but um it's dropping February 16th. But it drops February 16th. He is so cute. And it's called Cry Me a River. Cry Me a River. Hold on, wait a minute. Shout out. Say Pressure 23 Radio, little man. Say Pressure 23. Give me that. Pressure 23 Radio. Uh, hold on. They ain't signed me yet. I can't fix these folks. Just <laughs> calm down. <laughs> uh, Cry Me a River by J. All right. Let me get that thing back. Give me the mic. I got a line of sight. Head out. Look up with a blue blast. <laughs> Crime in a river, jumped in the water, could have died, but I didn't. I'm an eight, not a snake, and I slime, I'm slipping with the die. If you try, got a hot head first, I'm a die like a swim. Like Michael Phelps, they niggas mad cause they got no help. But I don't know why back, you only got yourself, no cosign either. And I'm hard as hell, and it's up. You can stay where you at, rather cry like a host that I'm making a bag, and I'm smoking on grease, ain't taking it back. And he's 762 Ripper face on the man. All I try off a skull, I had off a head, niggas calling the phone, got snacks on this head. Better talk what you know, it's a fact, we don't care what my dog is to go, he's gonna whack you right there, niggas. Right well, I mean, right there, that house on the west on the standby. The stairs kind of hard to try. I get some heat up. Got power like those, get off fences. Pop my shit, but that man of the year. I'm in this bitch, they can stand on. I'm here. I got king in this planet. Got sand out there. I told my dog, bring back a strand in his dress. Too late to cry. You don't play with your life. It's a trick. I don't think we're gonna pull up on side. We catch a body and troll them online. Can we catch a pot? He gone online. Uh, don't you cry. Come here. Why you trying to hide? This what you want to say online. Like, I want to take your life. Niggas' bones, we in a life. And I ain't got nothing to do but die. And I ain't got nothing to lose but time. You ain't got nothing to lose but your life. Cry me a river, I take a swim. Beside me, I hate to be him. I'm on a yacht in a lake full of tears. Then when my spot, I can't take it. It's clear, not too late to apologize. He crossed the line, I gotta die. If you with him, then beat you will not survive. And if you do, you gon' be traumatized. I'm a size and candlelights. We can slide tonight if you plan it right. My new glide bigger than Yavin. With a switch on it, this ain't the standard kind. So cry me a river, jumped in the water, cause I died, but I didn't. I'm an eight, not a snake. I'm not slime out of slit. We could die if you try. Got a fire head first, I'ma die like a swim. Them niggas mad cause ain't got no help. You don't need none. Man, the baby was locked in for a minute. After he was like, what he saying? He held the mic right there. He was listening. The baby was locked in. Y'all missed it. I'm telling you, y'all missing out if the baby was locked in. So who you got over there with him? Introduce him to us. Oh, this is my son. This is Junior. Wani Jashan Merritt. Yes, sir. Hey, Junior, you got something to tell us? <laughs> talk to him. You gonna talk to us? Man, he now see he gonna run the views up. <laughs> hey, you gonna run them up? See, he know what it is. So he's very familiar with that mic. Oh yeah, uh, every studio session I've ever had since he's been born, he's been. To- I ain't gonna lie, um, shit, I did that on purpose, but um, I don't believe in child care. Um, I don't want to pay nobody to watch my baby. I don't trust nobody. Um, I don't really ask my parents to watch my kid. I love them to death, and I trust them. But in the same sense, he came out of my Peter Wacker, so it's my responsibility. <laughs> so we got a system. One of us got to be with the baby at all times. So a lot of times, if I'm going to the studio, it's cause she at work. You feel me? I'm gonna run it. He coming with me. I ain't finna ask nobody to watch him. He very familiar with the mic. He know how to hold it and everything. So, is he on a few tracks? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, he's on a song or two. Um, what song is he on the beginning? Of t- uh, it's either I, it might be way too far. Or, um, yeah, I don't think. Um, I don't think. Uh, yeah, we played that one. It's on way too far. On uh, he laughs in the beginning of it. Do we, we we got that. We got that here. We don't. We don't have that. that song, song. I might have emailed it to you. I sent you two different emails with songs. Though. Okay, check check and see that we got that one because you know we want to hit a little baby. He's a, he's a very handsome little man, so I definitely know. 
I definitely know he's 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 where you got your motivation from to to be to be successful at this. I gotta make sure that it's on. Okay. So while we looking up the song, just let me in, and I did not send you. Let me in. Okay. But you can definitely play that song. It's one of them. It's one of them different songs. It's gonna do this. It's gonna do this. Face and justice. Huh. Yeah, it should be in in that in that oh, note. No, it's in the email. It should be in the email that he sent. Um. I sent two emails on the EYG. Right. So while we um looking up the song, huh. EYG. The email is yeah. from. Okay. So uh, where can, what can people expect from you next? You got any shows coming up? And shout out on that nomination. Um, yes, ma'am. I'm supposed to be handling that with T-Man. Uh, I'm supposed to be performing. I got a lock in my slot. I didn't because I obviously I have a lot on my plate. But I um I intend to get that done with that one in the next couple of days. And I have a flyer and I'll be performing at the Birmingham Music Awards. Until then, um, it's just whatever opportunity presents itself. I'm not thirsty to perform because that's never been my thing. I'm a, I'm a studio artist. Uh, I make music. I'm not. I actually got to figure out what song I'm going to play because, you know, um, a lot of songs ain't going to rock a club. It's, it's not my forte. But um, you do have work. <laughs> you know, it's work that you can look forward to. I'm dropping an album um, summer called I'm Not Him, Sincerely Me, because everybody want to be him and I'm not them. Um, music videos. Uh, I should be dropping a bunch of singles. In the meantime, I'm dropping a single on February 16th, and I'll also be dropping another single on March 15th. So, um, you got the music show. We we would definitely be at the music show. We definitely be at the music award. So, we definitely want to catch you on the red carpet and chatted up a little bit with you before so hopefully we see you now so tell everybody out there that's listening where they can find your music um just about all streaming platforms youtube spotify <laughs> uh apple music um audio mac i actually got songs that on audio mac that aren't on any of on any other platform on audio mac mm -hmm. if you're looking for a song that's like four years old like you want to hear what it uh, <laughs> where it started yeah, you can definitely hear that and see the progression. Um, I actually drop all of my albums that I drop on regular streaming platforms on Audio Mac because that's why I started dropping music. And I um get if not more to if not the same amount of streams. Um, the last album I dropped, Two Hundred Five Baby Two, got over a thousand streams on Audio Mac, and the other one got over two thousand streams. So um, I'm using this pretty well on Audio Mac. I'm comfortable with that app. Ah, that's why I started dropping. Oh, okay. So um we have this other um platform that this other like platform that we do here called P23 in the Hood. So um we're gonna kind of get together. That's where we go out and we kind of interview an artist like in his element, whether it's in the hood, in the studio or whatever. Oh, we're going to the rubbish though. We're going to the rubbish stuff. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna have a play the beast just while we're doing it. That's a date. That's the day we we get we gonna have to lock that in before you leave here. Everybody yeah. laughing like I'm joking, but anybody who know me, <laughs> <laughs> they know you for real. So give us your social medias. So um, what? you can reach me on TikTok at Baytown dot jit, and Baytown is B A Y T O W N dot G Y T T. That's on TikTok. Baytown jit, the same spelling, space jit. For Facebook, you can also reach me at e w a y g y t t. Instagram jit two o five. Uh, I have no idea what my triller name is, but it's probably somewhere along the lines of e four l jit. Um, you can search me on YouTube at jit. But if you're looking for me on YouTube, make sure to spell it in all caps. I have no why, no idea why, but when you search it, not all caps, it comes up with some Asian singing dude. This is like a banana. It's, you it's know, fucking wild. Right. When I Googled you, when I Googled, when I Googled you, when I was on YouTube and I was looking for you, and then when I first did it, I got like the YouTube premium app. So when I first did, when you sent me that link, it went to your topic page. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I got busy. So I started like from the first song and I just went all the way down. And then, then when I talked to you, you was like, oh, that's old. That ain't even none of my news. I was like, what? 
I ain't listened to any most of the songs you listen to. I ain't listened to in over eight months. So I was like, for real? Out of yeah. working. You you definitely slept off for sure. So, I got three albums out right now. Three albums. What's the, what three albums you got out? The one that I um. That was before I self destruct. Right. Okay, my breakout album was called Two or Five Baby. Um. I got some decent songs on there. I got some decent features too. I got a feature from the artist I told you about, Goku, Kid Trouble, uh, my younger partner CFND. Shout out him. Um, got some decent features on that. Then I did uh, after that. I dropped Most Hated. No features. It was an EP. Uh, yeah, that was they was um, from listening to your music. That's another artist that I ain't read it. That we know, um, and Tease Da Vinci, and they were saying that you need you y'all need to get together and undo a song. Believe it or not, I, I, I ran across his on um, his Facebook this morning. Oh um, my, I, I should have reached out, but um, I ain't gonna lie, I got a pride issue. I'm not scared to reach out, but I'm scared to for every motherfucker. Like, I don't want to work with two of us. Excuse the fuck out of me for trying to do you a favor. Like, I'm a hard. But actually, I, like I said, we know him personally. I know him personally. He's a he's a very, very humble artist. He's from here. Um, he's from Alabama. He he he's I can say that he's probably slept on here, but he's actually like known in Charlotte. Um, West Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Texas. So he's he's a Birmingham artist, but he, I mean, can I say he's a well? I, he's not a local artist, I guess I can say. But Birmingham he, based, but not local. Yeah, I can dig yeah. that, and I'm definitely down to network and work with artists. At the end of the day, it's about the music right. and making the best music possible. Of course, just some general rules of thumb. I'm not finna work with people who did certain things and blase blase. Oh, uh, we're not getting into street politics here, but it goes without saying we. Um, I, I get what you said. Yeah, it, uh, certain types of individuals I just can't work with, but that's our principle. But as a, but if their music is good and they don't fit under that act, right. we good and we we could lock in. And another thing, I'm not paying for a feature. Honestly, I feel like this shit gonna be worth a million dollars, and if you don't catch in, right. that's your loss. Right. I get what you're saying. And but yeah, uh, I got some features hopefully on on this album coming up. One from Kid Trouble, one from See the God. Um. Still trying to find the right people to put on this album because, as you can hear from the content that I played, um, yeah, yeah, you you got some nice work now. I, like I said, I was, I was kind of baffled. I, we usually don't jump into interviews this quick, but it's I, crazy. I still got my son down passing the <laughs> shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I know yeah. exactly who he is. I'm gonna lock in with him. I know exactly who he is. Hey, come on, come on. This three, this my younger partner with my little cousin. He's the artist. Um, he's gonna be dropping music very soon. Say what up, three. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? Shout out to three. Three. You in here? You ain't give me no kind of ink ink that you this you my, a rapper. I I get that. I'm a rapper, but I don't really rap. I rap for fun. Rap for fun. He rap for fun. I'm gonna make a point. See, um, it's always been a personal thing. His brother. Uh, I'm real close friends with his big brother. He happened to be locked out right now, but we not free all might and no cap. You feel me? But I um. I like to try to make a point to um, leave an imprint on people when I'm around them. Um, I'm on. I plan on taking him to the studio with me a lot. Um, training him on the science of making music. You know, uh, just like any one of my partners that I grew up with, or anybody that I personally know, and they're trying to do something with myself, I'm gonna get behind them. And um, unfortunately, I'm not in a position where I can financially um, show love. But you feel me? Caring matters, you feel me? Putting right. people in position matters, you feel me? Like, shit. Now, I sit them right here, uh, put them in front of the camera. Bitch, you got three months to drop a song before the little buzz died down. <laughs> so it's on you. You did what I'm saying? Right. Put them in a position. That's what's up. I like that. I like that. And you know, it ain't all the time. It's not even about financial. To get another artist to share your shit now is like an act of Congress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you... And it's just simple. And, and that's like, crazy because I literally don't like any of the music coming from the Birmingham music scene. And I share everybody's shit. Like, and it's probably gonna make people don't like me. But it don't be fake support. I promise. When I share your shit, I genuinely care about you and I want you to do the best. I just don't care about your music. As an individual, yeah. So I, I be on my timeline and I literally have my phone on silent when I look at this shit and share it. One, because two, that shit might be trash. One, because this shit might be trash. But two, because when I'm in the creative process, I don't want to know 
what Birmingham music sounds like. I don't want to know what the shit you creating sounds like because I don't want it to subconsciously influence the things I create. Right. You know, it's no hate. That's why you go down my timeline, you see me saying shit all the time. Artists, you feel me? Right. But um, I'm not I'm not too much interested in listening to people unless they come with a recommendation. They just happen to pop out and I right. like what I hear. So, you know, Rick Ross said that. Rick Ross said that a lot of the stuff, you know, if you genuinely fuck with somebody, if you genuinely, y'all cool, you it don't cost you shit to share it. You don't have to like it or nothing like Literally, that. Literally, it takes two seconds. I don't like 90% of the shit I share. I ain't going to count. I'm not going to put my partner on blast. I got a partner. I love him to death. I share shit every time I see it. But I'm, hey, bro, y'all go listen to this, you feel me? I put him on his shit, you feel me? But like, I'm not a fan of his music. Not because he um can't make music. It's just that it's certain it's genres. It's your, your, your particular it, yeah, yeah. type of um, Things like uh, the Cardi, Blase, Blase. Mm -hmm. I hate that type of music. Mm -hmm. Young Thug. Like, nothing towards them, but that type of music, I don't like it. You right. know what I'm saying? That, is it Mambo? Whatever that is, they do. But, um, It's the new generation, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But he not that. He not that. He got bars for real. But that's how he rap. You feel me? The flow, the cadence, Blase, mm -hmm. Blase. And that's him. And I love him to death, you feel me? I share shit, but I can't listen to it, right. you feel me? Let me, how do you feel Except about for like four songs. He got like four, seven songs that I heard as hard as a bitch. I ain't going to count. Right. How do you feel about the Birmingham sound? You say you don't particularly like it. What do you think about the Birmingham rap It's sound? basic. Uh, pretty much people stick to that type of cadence and they don't, they don't, one, they don't stay away from it. Two, they all use the same bars. Like, when I was growing up, I listened to a lot of Lil Wayne. And I used to argue with my pops all the time. Why you listen to gangster music? I'm telling you, man, shit, I ain't a gangster, but shit. Like, that ain't really gangster music. You get what I'm saying? Shit, way worse than that. Because, like, it ain't even about, it's, it's about, if you're going to talk about, you feel me, standing over somebody and shooting them, you feel me, or anything, why not say it in the best way possible? Why not put the most effort as possible into how you're saying it? You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just how you do things. It's finesse, you feel me? It ain't even subject matter because it could be a nigga rapping about absolutely fucking nothing, but he took time and energy into how he writes and what he says and this shit hard right. and I fuck with it. Right. You feel me? But, um... So if you had a particular... You people know, really took... People... Yevo took Cinco sound and built on it. <laughs> he good. I promise he good. He, I promise he good. <laughs> He throws himself everywhere. Oh you good. <laughs> I promise you good. Look bright. Hey, look, he like his dad. Like, I'm on air, so I don't want to look slow. But if it was a regular conversation, I'd punch myself in the head hard. Like, I got a hard head. Like, I used to hear Brooks from Bricks when I was little. But, um, yeah, he cool. He is daddy's son. Now he's trying to fight. <laughs> but, um. Shout out to the little man, man. He bounced up so fast, man. He, like, scared me to death. Shout out to the little man. He's so cute, though. Uh, mom. But, um, what I was going to say. Like, yeah, Cinco started this shit. Yavo took it and perfected it. But ever since then, people just been riding that way, hoping to ride that way to Yavo level, and it's not accurate. The only reason Yavo got to his level is because he took that sound and he made it his own. He didn't take another nigga style and just try to ride it to the top. He enhanced upon it and did it the best, you feel me? The only way you're going to blow doing another nigga thing is if you do it better than him, you do it the best. And a lot of these niggas are not better than you, folks. Well, they probably should just be their own style. I mean... Literally, you feel me? Because you're not going to go trying to be somebody else. The only way you're going to go trying to be somebody else is if you do them better than them. And it's pretty much impossible nine times out of ten. Like, um, the whole flow... Then a the flow simplistic. It's ABC. You feel me? Um, I'm 90% sure if I sat here and thought for long enough, I could find a nursery rhyme with the same cadence. I'm 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 thoroughly convinced that I can, but um, it's just not it's not it, and I don't, I don't understand it because we're from Birmingham, Alabama. We are the one city, musically, that has. We are the one city that I, it's crazy because you cut. I was literally finna get in that. We are the one city that doesn't have any fucking expectations musically. Think of Atlanta. Think of L.A. Think of Detroit. You feel me? Think of all these different, think of Louisiana. All of these cities have these sounds. And you pretty much, if you don't rap like this, you're going to blow. Like, you're not going to blow, you feel me? This is what, you know, we don't have that. Why is everyone so insistent upon sticking one there? And I don't, Birmingham, 
I can't say it doesn't. It has one sign because it's a lot of on um, different artists. Like my partner Goku, that bitch hard, and he different. You, you won't find another artist like him. And if you do, it'll be a cheap imitation. I swear. Send me that link, Goku. If you watching. Goku, if you watch, send me the link. But you don't even got to do it because I'm God. I'm gonna do it. But um, see, see the guy different. Rico yeah. Rude D different. Right. Um, I'm not too familiar on somebody on Young Ryan, but I heard a song or two with See the Guy different. Um, Kid Trouble different. Mexico Four different. Um, it's a lot of talent out here that's different. It's just not being pushed. Um, a lot of these rappers that made the way when it comes to this, they pretty much put their partners in the studio, and all the niggas started rapping. And all the niggas is clogging the airways. Cause all the niggas rapping like that one guy. And the one guy, in my opinion, you feel me? So yeah. And everybody gonna tune in and them because that's what's popping. But we control what's popping. Stop letting people fool you by pushing shit in front of your face. Um, so let me let me um tap back, tap into this a little bit. And that's a fact. That's a fact. A uh, very wise man said they don't put it out globally, so they have to get categorized into one sign. Right. Um, they don't. They don't promote to everywhere. They only try to. I don't want to be a Birmingham artist. I love Birmingham. As soon as I reach a certain amount of money and my PO say I can, I'm out. This motherfucker. Honestly, I don't live in other cities. The air is fresher. Mm -hmm. You go to. You drive past the park. You see a 14 year old and a 13 year old playing at the fucking park. That's fucking wild to me. I don't see that. Me and him, we was on the way here. We was on the way from doing something, you feel me? Um, we seen 10 year olds walking from the fucking gas station, dressed like us. You feel me? You don't see that everywhere, you feel me? And I don't want my kid to grow up in this type of environment. So, how do you feel about, um, how do you feel about artists? And I, and I know this to be fact there are artists in Birmingham that artists do features with and they will not drop the song so how do you feel about if you do a feature with somebody and they don't drop the song and in my perspective i'll drop that bitch you drop oh you i done did it <laughs> i get it but you know I, I, I got a younger partner on um, his name goosey um uh, we had um his name goosey on um, no love goosey uh he doing his shit too you feel me but um his ass was getting the views. We got a song together. Bitch, you ain't trying to drop this bitch. Hold on, bitch. I want some of them views. Like, hey, <laughs> hey y'all drop that bitch. He talking about, it wasn't even like he didn't want to drop with me. He just ain't like his verse. But his verse was hard. Right. You feel me? His verse just didn't measure up to mine. Right. But, bitch, we dropping this bitch anyway. It is what it is. On God, you feel me? So, and, and I do know that artists do do this. If they think that an artist have potential, to go to the next level before they go, they'll hold a song. And they got it in their mind. When he, when he blow, blow, I'm going to drop it. So hey, look, say, look, say, look. <laughs> hey, say, look. Hey, if you ain't, if you on that type of time, you shit out of luck. I ain't going to lie. I got a strong team behind me, and we locked in. Everybody around me, I don't know, 17, 16 years plus, literally. Like, mm-mm. Like, that ain't happening. Um, So lock in now and pay to do it. And it'll be an investment or don't, you feel me? Because anyone who could lock in for free, you feel me, they already locked in. Right. So um we act well, he one of the owners actually oh, we just doing everything on this thing. We didn't get one of the owners is actually <laughs> is actually a promoter. And we he do like mainstream shows, but Pressure 23 is actually gonna put together a tour. So would you be interested in going on tour? Yeah, um, you drop paperwork and the contract. I got this. I'm not to show my PO. Right. Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. We finna start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show my tags. Okay, like the shirt. Show him again. Show him again. I ain't see it. I ain't see it. Real deal. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, this how we coming. This how we coming, man. So, um. Oh, also, if anybody want to call in, we are accepting calls. That's 205-521-3569. That's Pressure 23 Radio. If you want to call in and chop it up with my boy on the air, you can. Um, we also on WhatsApp for our global listeners, the same number. Please do not 
send the, the text message, the chats. Man, I looked into that chat, man. Thank you. See all them chat. You want to know who I feel like got more motion than a lot of these rappers? Who? And he don't even fucking rap. Who? Two and Vito. <laughs> he do oh, rap. Oh. Two and Vito. Not seriously. I mean, oh. he dropped, but not seriously. And his music actually type decent, but nah, not seriously. <laughs> he more focused on, you feel, hey, <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do, it. do it. Don't do it. Hey, Vito's no. disrespect will not be tolerated in this bitch. Oh, God. Hey. <laughs> Now, now, but we now, gotta, now we got to let like Vito know plat- we went talking shit about him. But that I- platform on the platform that he built from nothing yeah, is but nothing I, sort of fucking I'm amazing. Winning. And then, then like, the fact that you, you can go to jail, come out, have the same, but you can't do that. Not only that, you feel me? What artist do you know has seven, eight, eleven different Facebook pages on that same amount of followers on all of them? You lose your page right now. Y'all going to be shit out of luck for the next six months building your platform back up. Who do you know that build their platform from scratch and can lose it all right now and go live in 30 seconds on a different one? Like, and, he okay. got he got more motion than a lot of these Okay, and then let, let's just think about this. The things that he talk about on, the, on his platform, and that's kind of like, you know, no disrespect to whatever he talk about on there. That's on him. We we talk about certain stuff on here, too. But it just go to show what our city is willing to entertain. That's a fact. We would rather support somebody getting called a snitch or this person getting somebody this or, you know, That's talking fact. back, talk, calling people snitches. And So who do you blame? The crack fiend or the crack dealer? Shoot, I hey the fiend because hey the crack deal ain't do never had a good price. You came to get it. He exactly. So it ain't even here. You feel me? It's the city. Yeah, that's what I'm the city. I'm on. The city. But I feel like I, I they genuinely haven't. What artists do you know that um how can I say this and not be a hit? Because I rap about violence too, but not senseless violence. We standing on business and standing the ground. But um what artists do you know that has a positive image? Is well spoken. Um, isn't rapping about a whole bunch of drug dealing and blase blase. I ain't gonna lie. We rap about smacking because that's life, and we live in a dangerous right. city. And you feel me? The potential to get injured or have to injure somebody is very real. Right. And you feel me? The fact that motherfuckers is alive today is a testament to that. Right. But that's life. I'm rapping about life. You know, a lot of people just rap about things because it sounds good. While that. Like the kudos to the dude who had to share the water for the ramen noodles with his brother, and he started trapping. And now his mama got a house, and he rapping. You feel me? Not a nigga who went to school and had a regular life and wasn't too rich, but wasn't too fucked up. Graduate, start making some money. Say, fuck it, I'm finna buy this and I'm finna be on. You feel me? Hey, now he buying that ain't lame. Rapping about it is lame. Cause that's not true. Every artist got a persona, you feel me? And a lot of people make that persona have to do with attributes of things that they don't do every day on a basis. You get what I'm saying? Rapping about that, that shit they don't do. But you know, they really rap well in this city. That's, I mean, most of the music, and then people say that we really don't play a lot of Birmingham. But here go, oh, hold on, hold on. I ain't even get to my point. My bad. I'm, I'm high top. But I, I said all that to say, you feel me? They don't have somebody that can make being a dad cool. You feel me? A good example, cool. You, somebody who, you feel me, can say, hey, my little partner asked me so about this. And I told the boy, you better sit your old dumb ass down and don't do this stupid ass shit. You feel me? You feel me? Like, we don't got nobody. They tell you, they do that. that make that shit look cool. Like, you feel me? You ain't no bitch, you feel me? Because you letting, you ain't no bitch because you. You he ain't kill it. You feel me? Right. Like, and you feel me? Actually can stand on what he say if shit, you know, like, not no chance to rap ass nigga. But like a real dude, a real genuine individual, you feel me? That can make being a stand up nigga being cool. Because being a stand up nigga is cool, guys. You don't got to be safety. You feel me? Being a stand-up nigga, being a man is where it's at, you ask me. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I get that and I understand what you're saying. People from, like, I got people that from up top, 
and and we be like, oh, what what y'all? I'm not coming down there. Y'all is wilding down there. I'm gonna be being real cool. I don't know. That's what it is. Oh God. Coming down there, y'all wilding down there. Like I don't know. It just I think it's it's That's no it. it's like no if respect. you rap if you rap and your little partner's wild, nigga, see about getting them they fucking gun license. It take a six six week course to be a security officer. Our security officer, six week little class. Shit, if they supposed to be protecting nobody, smack a spit, blah blah, blah, put them on payroll. So if they actually got to kill somebody behind you, they don't go to jail. Right. They ain't finna do that. They want the free shit. They ain't finna get them. It's what's free. You gonna walk? You gonna get my back for free? Uh, and that's it. And that's it. I ain't gonna cap. That's how it's supposed to be. But a lot of people is is in position and still don't care. Position people just don't care. Own. People selfish. I ain't gonna even say that they don't care. They just only care about themselves. So that's it. You can't see what. So I think that's that's mainly what it's about. So um, we covered I'm your off. new project. You coming? Out. I think I think we were talking at some point. You was um talking about your current project. You were pretty much saying that you it was gonna be like a large project. You're gonna have a lot of songs on this project. Um, yes, ma'am. I plan on having 24 songs on this project. Um I take pride in um creating projects with a lot of songs and um no two songs sound alike. Um no two beats sound alike, no two hooks sound alike, no two metaphors are used twice. That shit matters. It do it don't stop when it don't sound the same, it, it does what it need to do for me. I don't want to sit down and just I mean to me, and I ain't saying it. Can you play a song if it's on YouTube? Sure. Uh it's coming, it's on I already dropped it. It's off the upcoming album. Type in you okay. get, get behind the board. Uh the pr- wait, we fin we finna find this on the, the our production. Our production is back there just on the phone and everything. Hey look. I, we are very professional at Pressure 23. <laughs> this is a very professional environment. Don't let no one tell you different. And if you don't think we're professional, you ain't never worked with a black person. And that's okay. That's okay. We like some seasoning on our business. Uh, it's called G U. It's my name, you, all caps. Yeah, go to you to issue me. Yeah. Hi, baby. Man, we have. Um, those of you listening live on the on Press Twenty Three Radio, yeah, I, I Heart Radio, cup. I want to pop my shit now. <laughs> <laughs> Do yeah. Everybody listening, man. He this, this this gentleman has the one of the most handsome. The baby is just gorgeous. Man, believe it or not, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, this shoes new, brand new. We done had them for like four months, man. We had to get shoes for him to grow into. So like, he grow out a pair, we give him a pair. Right. Man, I'm so mad that he couldn't wear the retro ones I had for him. He's so cute. Put him on. We now. went to get him dressed. He couldn't even fit them hoes. I had to go get the other pair of the closet. Okay, yeah, he is so cute. Cause he got a pair of them, and they still look new. He got he was gonna match with his mommy. Oh my, they got the same suit. So grew out them business. Yeah, that's it. And I'm sick. I'm sick. Uh, and you know them bitches were eighty five dollars. Well, yeah, we know that. <laughs> Shit, crazy. <It's> so <laughs> Oh my! Mike, check. You turn me up my headphones. Well, turn on song. You don't have to turn me up. The difference between me and you. You a bitch. Mom, I'm talking to you. You know when I got out, I'm about killing. Before you got touched, you checked out and moved. I know a rapper that pay for protection from someone who ride when they say I'm cool. Niggas do a lot of shit I don't do. If you offended, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. You send the boys out the crack, they get caught. You won't buy him a soup. He keeps switching gangs and changing their first day for nine to the letters in the blue new group. You got cap your right, niggas fool. Catch him turning their brain in the alphabet soup. Nigga lame, I don't like how you rule. We stand on business to play by the rules. I got my clock in this bitch, so you better be smooth. Cause I send a hundred that you. You and you, you gon' do it. This is switch little room if you play me doom. This bitch gon' go boom and niggas start running and dropping their guns and none of them shoot. They said that poop. They said six two. They get to the car, they gon' click through the roof. I heard you told your mama disgusting. Bitch, I'm disgusted. How would the fuck did you do that, bro? I would've given you if I was your brother. Niggas come from a clock that I want my bro. Cut up in the stall, it's us. Twerk it behind your floods and do what I ain't in the bus. I put the bitch to Atlanta if it hit 200. What did I say? I'm talking to you. 
You the winner, got out on what killed him Before you got touched, you checked out and move. I know a rapper that paid for protection so rude And that's that cool Nigga do a lot of shit I don't do If you offended, I'm talking to you Big E boy, I'ma stand like a boo And it's all stress, so you better be smooth They do a shit that I never would do I mean, if it's smoking Pepe Le Pew I heard you got riding, they step out of nine Nigga looking like who? I heard the nigga lit up your grandma house And you just squat to see no one bro trying to move I went step on them boys and when they kill dude Niggas ain't built for this As soon as one nigga died and boy one the truth Snatch up his family tree by the roots I pull up shoot, I'm out in the car Run him out of his shoes This is switch, how can I lose? Hop out the whip, get back the fool I ain't bargaining about nothing This shit hard than your cousin And I get to tell him to start a button And my dog gets the ball I'm in the base section Boy, it started what's from nothing You know it's harder what we come on But I'm grinding, watch the come up I already dropped that. That's gonna be on the album, though. Get redropped on the album. Send me that. I got you. Send me that. We need to put that in rotation now. The now it run that chorus back. <laughs> don't 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 play it. Cause that run, run that co- that chorus back for me. And and look at the camera when you said run that run it back for me. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Run, run that chorus back it's for me one more time. Down. Y'all listening. He talking to you. <laughs> run that back for him one more time. We we want. I need the lyrics. I oh, need the I lyrics. Got you, I ain't going for no sound. Run it back. I'm talking to you. You send the boys out the crowd that can call you on buy him a suit. Hold on. I don't forgot the hook. <laughs> 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 hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that, hey, that was the main. Uh, written, that's the part that I wanted to be ran back. Run that back again. That chorus. Say what you just said again. You. Said, I'm talking to you. You send the boys out the crowd that call you on buy them a suit. We keep switching games. Hey, that my videographer right there. We can shoot a music video on that bit. So what's that? That's called Blue Flame. Yeah. Put me on the spot. Put me on the spot. Stop playing. Why you put it back in? You think? Hey, come on. Hey, look. When he the gonna, CEOs he gonna tease come me. in and cut hey, out. he gonna tease me pulling that damn mic out. And I want to use that bit bad and say that's crazy. That, that shit you just said, y'all laughing, but that shit he just said, man, that's some real shit. I'm saying what the business is. I like freestyle. I'm in the background, but look. I could have started rapping 30 seconds ago. Oh, he talks some shit. <laughs> <laughs> we can't put it on pause. Okay, hold on. We out on air. Everybody, too. Everybody, thank y'all for tuning in no, to the, the interview. On, um, we ain't gonna be able to drop thirty seconds. Okay, Those yeah. of y'all who out there listening, what is two? Behind, behind, no, we ain't gonna even cut it behind the motherfucker. Oh my god! God damn it! He done called first for three hours. <laughs> Hell no! Nah. Behind the scene, on this one. <laughs> hey, hold on, see, I should get the charge. See, yeah. I got the charge. Hold on. He got. Hey, what, I mean, sit, mute sit. my mic. Um, Don't leave, um, wait a minute. Turn up. Turn the radio station off. Let me. Um.